Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So y'all, we made it. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I just really feel like this is going to be a really exciting year for all of us. Uh, not just an exciting year, but a really a, an exciting decade to come. So congratulations to all of us that made it through the hell that has been the last, I want to say two and a half years. I know for many of us, there was a massive activation that happened in the summer of 2017. I know that's when my activation really happened, <laughs> like big time. And then, you know, 2018, 2019, 2019 especially though, were periods of purging and healing and letting go of things that no longer serve us so that we can create space for that which we truly desire and what we really want in our lives. So welcome to that decade where it seems that this stuff is gonna be coming through. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also, I'm very excited for you guys to see the readings for this month, um, for January of 2020. Uh, as I was doing them, you know, they were all ugh, all coming out really great. Even though there were some, you know, challenging parts for certain signs or certain situations, ultimately, though, it's all a good thing. And it's all, um, Spirit is saying, even now, it's a process of healing and... Um, uh, process of healing that is taking place in order for us to really break free from the chains and do what it is we truly desire in our lives yeah so just a few things um i want to mention first if you are interested in getting a personal reading please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below um just keep in mind that if you are looking for a private a personal reading your best bet is to just email me first as that's where I'm most likely going to direct you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That one is a pretty good option. I'm, However, I'm going to be asking you for your email address anyway, so you may as well just want to email me if you want to do that. Do not send any inquiries through Facebook. I will not be taking uh, private reading inquiries through Facebook. Yes, that is just not as a reliable source for communication at least in my opinion, as I've experienced moving forward, yeah? Email is always the best, but also Instagram is a good way too. You can find all of that information, the link to my Facebook page, the link to my my Instagram page, and my email address, along with all of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and prices in the description box below, yeah? Um, so for the readings this month, Oracle Guidance is coming again from the Earth Warriors Oracle. I really, really love this deck. This was a gift from one of our subscribers here. Thank you so much, Sam. I really love this deck. Um, and then the readings themselves are structured a little bit differently. First of all, I highly recommend that everybody watches the Capricorn reading as we are in Capricorn season right now, or at least as for the month of January. Um, a very happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, by the way, and also a very happy birthday to the January Aquarians. Yeah. But um, I do recommend that people do watch the Capricorn reading because even if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, uh, it can give you a good amount of insight as to um, you know what you could expect during Capricorn season. Moving Moving forward, I do think I want to do that more often. I may actually just start doing a reading, a separate reading for the season that we're moving into because I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I don't want you guys' readings to get hijacked when it's supposed to be like, say, for Capricorn, but it turns into a big old collective reading. So that's the way it worked this time. Moving forward, I think I am going to do a separate reading because I think it would be good just to have a general reading just to see what's going on for the collective um, in terms of the different seasons that we're moving into. Also, for the readings, I have now included Jupiter in the situation. And it's funny because for the last like six months of 2019, I was kind of hearing myself say and want to say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just never actually did it. Um, but starting this year, it is a thing. Um, Jupiter is a great way, like say if you're looking in terms of love, if you're looking for like a husband or your like a masculine counterpart, you would look to your Jupiter sign. And conversely, if you were looking for like a wife or a feminine counterpart, you would look to your Venus sign. But also Jupiter is a planet of luck um, and, and finance and fortune and whatnot. And so if you kind of want to see like maybe how your career is going or whatnot, whatever, you might want to look at Jupiter. Yeah. So I just threw that in there. Um, in case you guys were interested, yes. Also, moving on into 2020, my channel is now 
up and eligible for memberships and with memberships come different tiers of perks and whatnot and so over the year of 2020 i am going to be rolling that out i have some planning to do with it i wish i could roll it out you know january 1st it's ready to go but that's really not realistic because i didn't get the email the notification about it until like mid-December when I was actually, I was in the middle of recording the last Twin Flame reading that I did for December, which is a great one. If you haven't seen it yet, absolutely go ahead and watch that. But I got the email during that reading. And so I'm now, I got to take some time to plan and see what I want to do, what kind of perks I want to offer um, and all that kind of stuff. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going through a whole rebranding process during the month of, or during the year of 2020. So I'm super, super excited to bring you guys more content. And I would, if you're interested in becoming a member, I would highly recommend that you do that because then that's going to provide me with more financial stability in order to devote more time to the channel and to the readings and to you guys. And there are more things that I want to offer, like tarot uh, services, like count, um, uh, counseling services. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, that might actually be a membership perk that I'll offer, like a you know for members only weekly like tarot masterclass or some something like that. You know what I mean? I mean it's just an idea, but um, if you are interested in membership, I would highly recommend that you consider doing so once it's available, because again, that will allow me more time um, and, to be able to devote. To the channel yes okay guys so i guess that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the reading yeah cool hey there pisces welcome to your reading for january 2020 thank you so much for tuning in so let's get straight into this pisces um the first thing that came to me as i was starting your reading and i was channeling for you was I started to see purple, which is a color of divine wisdom, understanding, psychic ability, your higher centers, maybe your crown chakra, maybe even your third eye chakra. And as soon as I saw that, the queen of cups came out. Now, Pisces, you are, as a water sign, you are naturally intuitive. Um, but what I'm getting here are psychic abilities are opening up for you. And yes, I, I'm sure you do see that King of Cups that's underneath the deck there, but we'll get that in a second on the on the as an overall energy. Um, well, actually, let's talk about that now because I do. This could be another person in your life, maybe a spouse, a significant other, a lover, whatnot, whatever. But ultimately, what I'm getting for you, Pisces, is that this is the balance. This is a balance between masculine and feminine energy, and with this wheel of fortune in reverse and the five of cups here what i heard was time is up so your what i feel like here is your psychic awareness is opening up and what i was saying before about you being naturally perceptive maybe even psychic uh psychically in tune whatnot whatever yes you've always been that way naturally for some of you your your abilities are really starting to expand to a point where you can't deny it anymore um secrets can't be kept from you anymore you could be in an energy where you're starting to really accept your ability you might be starting to move out of an uh, uh, an environment or a mindset that was developed through gaslighting in which you know, you were picking up on some things and you might have mentioned it to someone and they gaslit you because it's like they didn't want to take advantage. They didn't want to take a responsibility for themselves. For some of you out here, you have been lied to. You have been cheated on. You have been misused. You have been abused. You have been deceived, what not, whatever. And you're really starting to come to the realization that you're not crazy, that you have been picking up on this the whole time. In essence, time is up their time is up now keep in mind this is a a general reading pisces so maybe this is someone that you're connected to maybe you have been on this really manipulative manipulative tip and your time is up because the person that you're dealing with is now awakening to the fact that they were not wrong they were picked they were what they were perceiving what their gut was telling them what their intuition was telling them was right all along and with this king of cups energy being the overall here I see this as the individual taking action in terms of what their intuition has been telling them. 
So this definitely could be a balance between the masculine and feminine within someone, because I do see the feminine as the receptive and the intuitive, whereas the masculine is the action taker. Masculine is also intuitive as well, but in terms of the feminine being receptive, the masculine is the projective. So the masculine is the one that takes the action. And I really do feel like whomever we're channeling for here is about to take some sort of action. And there could be a breakup or some sort of cause or need for remorse. Now, this, this doesn't just have to be romantic. This could be business, okay? But ultimately, whatever is being let go of, rejected, whatever is, is in need of grieving is toxic. But it is only creating more space for this balance here of the masculine and the feminine with the two cups that are still standing here to flourish. So this could be a situation where Pisces, you are you or maybe the cross watcher might be moving forward. I want to see. Oh, yep. And I want to I was like, I want to see what's under that king of cups. The ten of swords, Pisces. Come on, focus you. You thing. Ten of swords. Okay. Um and now I've lost my train of thought. I forget what I was going to say there, but and I really want you to focus. Can you please focus? Thank you. Um this might have been going on for a long time. And underneath the Ten of Swords is the Two of Swords. So you might have been in a situation in which the gaslighting was keeping you from really... <sighs> yeah, see, look at that, Pisces. The Ten of Swords came back out again. All right? This shit needed to stop. Someone is finally bringing this to a close. Period. Yes, there's going to be a need for... Rim, uh, for um, grieving but ultimately it's a good thing pisces because again oh that's what i was going to say again it is allowing for space for your your own in sense of internal balance to flourish and so what i was going to say before is you might have been in a situation in which someone was purposefully trying to keep you from allowing yourself to expand and grow, was purposefully gaslighting you just so that they could keep you down, they could keep you under their thumb, and they wouldn't have to own up to their own narcissism. This very much could be a narcissist empath dynamic, all right? Keep in mind, guys, this does not just have to be romantic. This could be a relationship between parent and child. This could be a relationship between uh, friends. This could be a business relationship. It really could be anything, okay? Yeah, I just heard you were their punching bag. Yikes. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces. I'm going to give this five shuffles, and we'll see what we've got for you. Yeah? One. Two. And you know, I'm really not surprised that this is coming out here. There has definitely been... I've done... Uh, I've done... This is three. I've done three readings... Uh, two other readings today. I did Capricorn, I did Aquarius, and now I'm doing yours, Pisces. That's going to be it for my day, but between Aquarius and Pisces. Yeah, that was three. Um, there has been a message of releasing yourself from some sort of gaslighting situation or something like that in terms of in, in coming to some sort of awareness for. And y'all, we're moving into 2020. 2020 vision. I mean, this, this falls right in line. <laughs> and five. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the month of January 2020. All right, kids, let's cut the deck. Boop. And here we go. Overall energy. You. Well, shit. 
you've got the Ace of Swords. Truth, integrity, honesty, the aha moment, the epiphany, seeing things as they truly are, not being afraid to speak your truth, not being afraid to tell the truth. Ain't nobody got time for that shit here in 2020, y'all. It is, we are, we are done. We are done allowing ourselves to be gaslit. We are done allowing ourselves to be used, abused, taken advantage of. Done. All the way done. Okay? Couldn't be any more done. Okay? <laughs> Underneath the Ace of Swords, well, judgment. I mean, you better come on with it, Pisces. <laughs> Underneath judgment is the four of wands. Yeah, this definitely could be a home situation for sure. But also, this is speaking to your own spiritual wherewithal and spiritual foundation that is allowing you to speak up and acknowledge the truth and not only acknowledge the truth, but take action. Underneath the four of wands is the empress. And the more that you connect with this truth and more that you connect with this integrity, the more the universe showers you in abundance. And for any of you that are feeling scared, frightened, that um, yeah, you don't know what's coming next because, you know, you're setting the record straight or you're standing up for yourself and, and you know, the, the, everything is unknown. Maybe you might be losing a home, a living situation, something that provided you with some sort of stab stability and foundation. Don't you worry. The universe has got you. You do not have to be afraid. Especially if you are standing and taking up, uh, taking steps and standing up for yourself from a sense of integrity. The universe will absolutely reward you and will absolutely take care of you. Okay? Ooh, ciao. Let's get into it. First half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it however it resonates. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. In the first half of your reading, you've got... Wow, the Page of Wands. And this is the exact same card that Aquarius got in the very exact same position. And it's, it makes perfect sense because this energy feels very similar to, Aqu to Aquarius's energy. Taking your power back, knowing your worth, knowing your strength, rediscovering yourself, re-identifying yourself. Now for you specifically, Pisces, the Wands here represents intuition. So... It's, it's almost as if you are looking at your intuition with fresh eyes. It's almost like you're looking at it with a sense of wonder. It's like, oh my God, this is what you've been trying to tell me all along. I actually am feeling like I want to cry because there's a realization now that you were only trying to help yourself. For some of you in the past, you resented yourself because these messages were coming through and you didn't want to believe it, but also whomever you were dealing with was gaslighting you and making you try to feel like you were crazy or trying to make you feel like you were crazy and you believed them. And now that you're allowing yourself to be heard, you're like, I'm getting choked up a little bit. It's like, I can't believe I, I can't believe I doubted myself so much. I can't believe I let this person convince me that I didn't have my own best interests in mind when I knew this person was a narcissistic piece of... You finish the statement, right? Mm. So yeah, that's part of that Five of Cups energy too for you, Pisces, okay? Hey, focus. Hey, hey, you. Focus, you thing, you thing. There we go. <laughs> Page of Wands is coupled with oh the tower this is good pisces you want to know why this is good because with you accepting your intuition you are absolutely overthrowing whomever seemed to be in control like literally by you taking up your wand of intuitive ability and vowing to never doubt yourself again you are creating an absolute ruckus for anyone else that has ever stood in your way and ever tries to. This is having a ripple effect, past, present, and future, Pisces. So there's even an energy of you 
erasing any sort of karma that would have come towards you in this energy of not not honoring yourself and not believing in yourself okay yikes that's a good thing though second set of surrounding energies for you pisces in the first half of your reading you've got the eight of pentacles beautiful so now this is doing the work to maybe even develop your abilities it's like well damn okay well i guess i should take this seriously now then so what do I do? How do I develop this? How do I hone my skill? How do I hone my craft? How do I sharpen my blade? Mm. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with... Oh, the Eight of Cups. I know that's right. <laughs> Yowza. I feel bad. Honestly, Pisces, I feel bad for whoever. I, I'm, and I know you're kind of like, why would you feel bad for this person? Because... <laughs> because karma's a bitch <laughs> but like i also feel bad in the sense that they're losing a real one right now straight up and down they are losing a real one but <laughs> that's their problem they can eat your dust for all i care for all you care for all the universe cares so don't worry i don't feel too bad for them but still it's like, I'm taking my shit and I'm out of here. I'll go sleep on, on, on Sophie's couch for the next two weeks while I figure some shit out, but I will be damned if I'm staying here. You got that right. Whew, okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading is the Hierophant. Now, see, as you move forward, you're going to have to, I'm hearing specifically, you're going to have to stand up to the patriarchy. You're going to have to stand up to the opposition. You're going to have to stand up to those that would devalue you, that will call you crazy, that will diagnose you as mentally ill, uh, schizophrenic, bipolar, um, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever else they might try to throw at you through the lens of indoctrination. You have got to stand up to this and you have got to stand strong and firm. Yes? Do not let this patriarchal bullshit tear you down any longer. The Hierophant is coupled with the Ten of Swords. Really putting an end to this now. That's your challenge. You, and, and guys, keep in mind, okay? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so this could go either way. But, Someone here has got to take the bull by the reins and consciously put this to, the, to an end. This is not a situation really in which you can be too passive about it. You were too passive in the beginning. Your passivity is what got you here, or I'm sorry, what helped to get you here in the first place. You have got to put an end to this yourself. You've got to do the work. You've got to follow through. You also have to believe in yourself. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. That's right. Look at you. Look at you. Doing the damn thing. Taking your power back. Manifesting the life that you know you deserve. The magician is coupled with... <laughs> Ooh, the knight of swords. Oh! <laughs> Yikes! I feel bad for anybody that gets in your way. Mm-hmm. This is a pretty aggressive energy. It's also a very fast-moving energy. But at this point, I don't feel like you're going to be too aggressive towards anyone other than those that look to oppress you. Those that wish and look to keep you down. You're a very gentle soul. Okay? But when pushed or when coming up against a really sensitive topic such as this one in which someone has is potentially been under some sort of narcissistic control for a long time, for years, maybe even decades, when you trigger that in this person, they become someone you never even thought was possible to be something coming out of this person you never thought would be able to come out but 
don't trigger this part in that person. I'm warning you now, don't do it. And if you're this cross watcher that has been the narcissist, that has been looking to just keep this individual under control, I swear to God, you better keep your distance. And that's not a threat. It's legit a reality. Because this person is absolutely done with being under your control. Okay? You cannot control this person any longer. Okay. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Pisces. First set of surrounding energies. You got the Queen of Wands. Ain't nothing gonna stop you now. I'm hearing overconfidence. <sighs> Whatever. That's just another form of gaslighting. Because the Queen of Wands knows who she is and knows what she wants. Just like the King. She's, re she's more receptive, sure, okay. But ultimately, nothing is going to stop her, especially now that she is aware of how truly strong she really is, right? Queen of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. Yes! Planting that seed and getting started on your new life. Doing the damn thing. And this, don't get caught up on the gender, because why I, what I really feel is coming through as this Queen of Wands is just a sense of awareness of intuitive, empathic ability. So you could be male, and you, don't, you, you could be a man, a heterosexual man even. It doesn't matter. We're not talking gender, and we're definitely not talking sexual orientation. Like, fuck that shit. We're talking energy. And the feminine represents intuition and receptivity. Right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Pisces. Oh, look at that. There's that King of Cups again. So this is an awareness with this Queen of Wands. This is an awareness of who you are and your ability. The King of Cups is having the emotional maturity to take a stand, take some action, do it for yourself, to move forward with integrity, knowing what it is you want and knowing what it is right, what is right, right? Right. <laughs> King of Cups is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. That's interesting. Um, the Four of Pentacles actually is an energy of standing your ground here, not letting anyone sway you, holding your center, holding your own, yeah? Doing what you know, again, doing what you know is right. Beautiful. The challenge. In the second half of your reading here, Pisces, you've got mm -hmm, the Six of Pentacles. So now as you move forward, you're going to need to uh, remain or at least start out a little hyper aware of the balance of reciprocity. And this will definitely start to be exposed, is what Spirit is saying throughout all of the relationships in your life. It's like you're going to be so hyper aware of how imbalanced that this one catalytic situation was that you're going to then start to recognize that imbalance in other situations. And that's going to be a challenge because you're going to have to act accordingly. King of Cups, Four of Pentacles. You're going to have to act accordingly. That's going to suck for some people out there, but you know what? It's going to be great for you. Ultimately, in the end, it may not feel like that very like in in the beginning, but ultimately it's going to serve you quite well. And you will see eventually. I do feel like there are some of you that are pretty heavily resistant to releasing some energies. It's like, okay, well, what I'm hearing is like, okay, well, that person was was pretty bad, but they're not so bad. Why do I have to let go of them too? Don't forget what you've learned, Pisces. I know. That's I know. It's a challenge. I know. You'll get there. Six of Pentacles is coupled with ooh, the Two of Cups. There you go. Starting to recognize the balance and give and take, the reciprocity or the lack thereof in all of your relationships. Two of Cups doesn't just have to represent romance. This can represent friendships. This can represent family. This could even represent business partnerships. Okay. 
Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Pisces. You got the two of pentacles. Strike that balance. Also, I'm getting, because the two of pentacles, you see the, the, I guess that rope between those two pentacles, it's the infinity sign, abundance. What was lost will in fact be replaced with something of equal or better value. So don't be afraid to let things go, especially if it's toxic. Come on, Pisces. <laughs> two of pentacles is coupled with uh, the three of swords. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to deal with some heartbreak, but this is finding balance through and after the heartbreak. What is breaking your heart or what has been breaking your heart is on its way out. And now you have to find that balance in the absence of those elements. But those elements were doing what, Pisces? What were they doing? They were breaking your heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay. <sighs> Let's get your oracle guidance now. Closing message from a Pisceans Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Last shuffle. All right. Let's see what we've got. Closing message from a Pisceans for January 2019. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There it is right there. Oh, shoot. Card number 38, which boils down to what? 11. Ew. What is this? Uh, okay, give me a second. Pachamama. Pachamama or Pacha Pachamama. She with the Andean Emerald Heart. Oh. Oh, can we say heart chakra awareness? I think so. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful card too. All right. Pachamama. Pachamama. Pachamama? Pachamama? Uh, whatever. Let's focus here, please. Please. Can we, can we do that? Can you, can you do that for me? Yeah. Pachamama, the goddess of the earth, honored by the indigenous peoples of the Andes, holds space for many different creatures to live within her field, including the crazy, beautiful, dangerous, and divine humanity. She knows that life thrives through diversity. She is able to foster life with such genius and generosity because there is no fear preventing her from holding space for the new to emerge. Be open to the new and the different in yourself and in life. Trust, like the Earth Mother, as an act of devotion. She is watching over you as you evolve to manifest the fullness of your sacred and original life purpose. In a reading, this card says, don't hold back from what's happening. Things need to change, so let them change. It may seem chaotic or overwhelming now, However, when you realize that you don't need to figure it all out, you will relax, allowing the wisdom of what is happening at a deeper level to unfold. Trust that your inner resources are enough and will grow to meet your needs for full soul expression in the world. You may sometimes feel like you are juggling too many projects with too few arms. The Divine Mother can help you if you trust her to keep an eye on things and guide the process for you. This oracle indicates that peace and harmony will eventually triumph over conflict and challenge, bringing about a new way of being. That's beautiful, Pisces. It's as if the Earth Mother is coming through and saying, hold on, baby, I got you. you. See, and my phone just went off. Did you hear that? That was confirmation. Hold on, baby, I got you. You don't got to worry about it. Look, look, the Empress. Hold on, baby. I got you, boo. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. Especially now that you are choosing to honor and love yourself and listen to your intuition and never doubt yourself again. Oh, oh God, I want to cry. You might be crying at this point because <laughs> I can feel it. 
Oh, so there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!